In this video, I'm going to show you how to record cash sales from your customers in Wave. Now, before we get started, I just want to point out that when you set up your Wave account, you more than likely already have this cash on hand account set up unless you removed it. And this just represents cash you haven't deposited in the bank. It could be cash you have sitting in your office that you use to give change to customers or money in a cash register or just money that you have received from a customer that you haven't deposited yet. And then it says to add your bank and credit card accounts to accurately categorize transactions that aren't cash, which I already did in this sample company. And then I do want to also point out that undeposited funds is an account that I see a lot in other softwares. And this is more for if you want to create a batch deposit. In other words, you have one deposit that consists of several checks and cash from multiple customers, then you may instead use the undeposited funds account. So that would probably be a separate video. I still wanted to point it out because it is something that can be used also. But for this particular video, we are going to focus on cash. So we're going to go to sales invoices on the left. And first I'm going to demonstrate accepting a cash payment for this invoice. So all I would have to do is record payment. My method would be cash. I would put the date and I would put cash on hand as the account. I can put a memo or any notes and then just submit. And you can see that this screen allows me to send the customer a receipt if I want to. Now let's go ahead and look at how that looks in the transactions. So I'm going to go to accounting transactions. Wave does automatically pull up all accounts, but I'm just going to go to cash on hand. And there is the $300 in cash in that account showing in this account. Now, when I do deposit this to the checking account, I don't want to record income again. In other words, let's assume I post it to the checking account one, two, three, four. I would not want to add income twice because I already recorded the service income when I posted the payment to the invoice. So at this point, all I want to do is show that I had cash on hand, but it is not in cash on hand anymore. I am taking it to the bank and putting it in the bank account. So what I want to do is show a transfer from one account to the other. There are two ways to do this. If I'm on the cash on hand account side, that's the account that it's leaving, I would choose add expense. If I am on the checking account side, that's where the money is going to, I would probably use the add income button. Let's do it from the cash on hand side. I would click on add expense. Now, this is not going to be an operating expense. It is only an operating expense if I choose an operating expense category. Instead, to show it as a transfer, I'm going to click on transfer to bank, credit card, or loan. And then I'm going to choose whichever bank account I'm depositing this to. In this case, I'm going to assume I'm depositing it to this first account here. And then I would put the amount and possibly a description. So it's coming from cash on hand and going to checking one, two, three, four. I'm going to go ahead and click on save. Now what wave does is it shows me the deduction from cash on hand but then it also automatically creates a second transaction on the checking account side to show it a deposit on that side. So if I go to checking, you can see the $300 here, $300 deposit here. But instead of saying that this is income, it is just 
a transfer from cash on hand. And then on the cash on hand side, that has zeroed out and is now zero and it shows the transfer to checking. Let's go ahead and look at the reports. So I'm looking at reports on the left and I'm gonna look at the profit and loss. Now this sample company, this is just a sample company I use for recording videos and I haven't done anything else in it in 2024. So it is the only transaction here. I only want that $300 income to show up once and it does. I can drill down and see that it is the payment from Nancy. Let's also go ahead and look at the balance sheet. You have to choose details in WAVE, so it shows you the clickable links to drill down on an account. But basically, now I cannot see the cash on hand account because it's zero. So WAVE is only gonna show me accounts with a balance in it. And I can click on that checking account and just see all the transactions and there's the deposit right there. I'm also going to show you how to add cash sales where they're not necessarily related to a specific customer invoice. It could just be general cash sales in your store or in your office. In that case, I would just click on add income. I would want to make sure I was depositing to cash on hand. I would put the amount and I would put a description. And then for my category, I would choose whatever income account I wanted it to post to. In this case, I'm going to use service income. And then I would just click save. And it shows up here. And then whenever I do take it to the bank to deposit the money in the bank, I'm going to want to transfer the $200 from cash on hand to the checking account. So I'm going to demonstrate that. If I'm on the cash on hand side, I would choose add expense because it's being deducted from this side. If I'm on the checking account side, I would choose add income because it is on the side where I'm adding to. I'm adding to the checking account. Let's just go ahead and do it from the checking account side. I'm going to add income, but I don't want to put service income here because I've already recorded the $200 of service mm -hmm. income. What I want to do is choose transfer from bank, credit card, or loan, and I'm bringing it over from cash on hand. I would put the amount and a description, and then I could put any other details I wanted to. And then I would just save. And you can see it automatically creates a second transaction to show the cash on hand side in addition to the checking account side. That is just a weird thing that WAVE does. I have not seen that in any other software programs. So once you get used to it, it's not difficult, but it is something that can throw you off if you're used to other softwares. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the cash on hand side. You can see that I had $200 in income showing, but then I transferred it to checking to deposit it there. And then on the checking side, I have the 300 deposit and the 200 deposit. Let's go ahead and look at the report. We're going to look at the profit and loss. I just went to reports and then profit and loss. And here is the service income. Now we're at $500. Let's also go back to reports and look at the balance sheet. Again, cash on hand, I zeroed out, so it's not showing up here, but those transactions are showing up in the checking account. Now, I just want to show you one more thing. Now, I did all of this in one day. And I did not need to do two transfers to checking. If I went to the bank and deposited all $500 at one time, 
I would really only need one of these transfers of $500. So let me delete what I did here and let's start over. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is assume that I received all those cash sales and I'm gonna go take it all to the bank at once. So I would click on add expense. So it's coming from cash on hand and we are going to transfer it to a bank credit card or loan. And I'm gonna choose whichever checking account it is being deposited to. I could put a description and I'm gonna put how much is being deposited. So I'm gonna save. Okay, so I'm gonna look at this from the checking account side. Now this is only one transaction here of $500 instead of two. And then on the cash on hand side, I zeroed that out by taking all the cash sales and taking it to the bank all at once. And let's go ahead and look at the reports one more time. Go to reports, profit and loss. It still shows the $500. I didn't change anything with the sale or the service income. I'm really just changing where it shows up in the checking account versus cash on hand account. And I just wanna point out that I am showing you in this video how to do it the formal way to reflect what actually happened physically with the cash. It was collected in cash on hand and then physically taken to the bank and put in the checking account. Some businesses do post directly to the checking account and they skip the step of putting it in cash on hand and transferring it to checking. I think it's better to do this process where you put it in cash on hand, hold it there, and then put it in checking. Another thing I wanna point out is that if you have a storefront type business and you're collecting payments through cash, credit card, debit card, all day long, you probably have a payment processing system in place in your store and there should be a cash payment option in that and you would probably do things a little bit differently than this. I hope you found this video helpful and if you have any questions please feel free to comment below and thank you for watching.